Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in crypto. And I'm bringing on a bite-sized piece is today, just the thumbnail suggests Shiba Inu is pumping. And the question is, why is it? And should I buy some? So we'll take a look at what's going on there. Also take a look at uh, World Mobile Token as it uh, finally reveals that it's going to allow uh, staking for its earth nodes and all the stakers who bought into the token itself. And then finally, we'll take a look at uh, Walmart as they start to offer Bitcoin in their kiosks. And uh, just a little warning, it's super pricey. And then lastly, we'll talk about uh, the DCA show, which is going on today with me, George, and James from Crypto Rars R Us and uh, Invest Answers. So we'll go over all those things. But first, take a look at what's going on the market. Today is a pretty nice day, Sunday, and uh, market's down a little bit. What are you going to do? So we're at uh, around 2.54 trillion, 2.6, somewhere around there. And the sentiment is bordering on neutral to bearish. And um, I think by tomorrow, uh, we'll see if this 60,000 support will actually hold. But every time you hit that support level of 60K, it gets a little bit weaker and a little bit weaker and the bears start to have a little more fun. And yeah, who knows, maybe we'll actually drop below. I think we could, especially on a Monday, but uh, time will tell. So uh, as far as like the last 24 hours and what's up and what's down and all that good stuff, uh, Bitcoin's still above 60. Ethereum's still above 4K. Binance is still around 470. Everything's pretty much in that same range. Nothing really big except for, well, Doge is up 5%. So that's pretty good. But Shiba Inu, and that's uh, what we're going to talk about today. 47% up. And that's massive. And over the last six months, it's up like 3,100%. Over the last year, it's up like, I mean, just ridiculous numbers. So the question then becomes, you know, uh, why is it pumping? And uh, should I buy? So let's just take a look at it. So there's a, there's a couple of stories of why this could actually be pumping. First up, um, we had uh, Robinhood reach out and they started to talk to uh, as a survey and said, what kind of cryptos would you like to see on our platform? And also uh, a lot of people said, hey, we'd like to, like to have that wallet uh, so we can actually take this uh, our crypto off. And they said, sure, we'll do that. But then as far as like Shiba Inu, uh, as far as this article talks about, uh, there's going to be none of that in the near term. So this is what's going on. Robinhood has disclosed that the company now has over a million people waiting on the release of its native digital wallet. The platform will start off with only seven coins on its platform for the sake of users' safety. With the new wallets to roll out, people are going to be able to take their crypto off of, off of the uh, off the platform, which is great. And then... Uh, I, I think this is good, but they said, no, we're not going to have Shiba Inu right now. But I will say this, uh, there's, so much, there's so much demand for Shiba. That's why Voyager listed it. Uh, that's why Coinbase listed it. Uh, that's why uh, there's a petition. I don't know if it's on Binance. I think it's uh, they're trying to get it listed. And uh, the places that, I mean, exchanges are in, in it for the money. I mean, just, they're an exchange. It's a business. Nothing wrong with that. So if there's so much demand. There's not really anything um, that could stop them from saying, no, we don't really want to do it, especially if people are like, well, you know, we want to have Shiba on here and we'll just take shut up and take my money, essentially what it is. And they'll probably list it at some point. But so that's um, a negative on there. But I mean, if you look at it, the, the Shiba Inu army is like, we don't really care. This is all good news. But the thing that I looked at, I thought it was interesting, was this last snippet here. And uh it says Robinhood observed that three fifths of three fifths of its total active accounts had dabbled into crypto trading increasingly over the last six months, and uh, most of the newbies uh, just that's all they do. Yeah, it's just it's just crypto. So if we take a look at what's going on with Robinhood, I mean, people are just they're in there for mostly cryptocurrency and uh, somebody like myself who gets into like Tesla and Mara and Riot and stuff like that. So that's the first part. And I think this is the bigger the bigger issue. And I think there's a bigger issue, and I'll tell, talk about that in a second. But Shiba Inu aims for groundbreaking shift in primary architecture with the launch of its own blockchain. And uh, if you don't know, uh, it, is a, it is a fork of Ethereum. It's an ERC-20 token. And what they want to do is they want to branch off. So right here from the horse's mouth, the Shiba Inu, Inu development team is working on its blockchain known as Shibarium. And it has advanced in stages now to the testing phase. So I think people hear this like, oh, great. It's going to be like its own little, it's its own thing. It's going to be great. It's going to be, you know, like a, like a mainnet launch, all this stuff. Hold on. What it is, it's, it's a layer two Ethereum scaling solution. So just like Polygon. So that's what it's going to be. But here's the thing. And that's great news. And I'm not 
knocking anything that they're doing, great. You know, if you want to purchase Shiba, it's fine. Good for you. And especially if you purchased like a year ago, you're up like massive. But um, this is going to be competing with Polygon. It's going to be competing with a lot of layer two solutions. So again, can you put your money into it? I don't, it's up for you to, to say or not. But when we have something like this, where it's like, this is going to be a layer two solution and we're going to, we're in the testing stage. So if you want to do this, I mean, it's going to be a long time coming uh, for them to actually get to that point from just the testing to the mainnet, to the glitches, to all the things they have to do. And maybe it'll be worth it in the end. But I still think there might be another reason for why people are just so into Shiba and why it actually went up massively. First of all, you can never discount community. I mean, just take a look at the XRP army. Uh, they are so adamant and uh, that is what has kept XRP afloat uh, as the SEC has been, you know, battling them in, in court. So uh, we take something like that. Uh, we take a look at the Cardano community. We take a look at any community, really. That's what keeps things really going. And the Shiba community is so strong. They're out there and they just love it so much that it keeps everything going. But I think there's also this other part here. And when I took a look at, when I took a look at um, Coinbase, uh, I just took a look at the prices off on my phone and this I was just scrolling through it. I'm like, okay, Dogecoin 26 cents and then Shiba Inu. I was like, holy smokes It's point zero 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 four one five five So when you're looking at this, and you're like, wow A lot of people don't even know that you can buy a fraction of Bitcoin So they look at Bitcoin like 60,000. I can't afford that and then poke it off 42 bucks. Eh, that's kind of pricey Doge 26 cents. All right now we're talking Shiba Inu 40 point zero. Okay, I can buy you know, millions or billions of that, no problem. And then when I took a look at all the other prices, first of all, two things. I was shocked at, not shocked, but I was surprised at the, at the different prices, but I was shocked at the amount of coins that Coinbase has. I don't really use Coinbase at all, but I was just looking through it. I was like, holy smokes, they've got, I mean, Polygon, Cosmos, Filecoin, DAI, EOS, okay. Graph, Terra, AMP. Okay, OMG Network, Chili's Compound. And I'm like, okay, it's probably going to stop right around here. Oh, no, no, no. It keeps going. Yearn, Synthetics, Bat, Bancor, New... I don't know what that is. One Inch, Scale, Loop Ring, Numerare, Polymath, iExec, <laughs> Cardacy, Augur, Enzyme. What the heck? I'm like, when I'm looking at this, I'm like, well, no wonder the uh, um, Coinbase effect isn't as big as it is because they got so much, so many different uh, cryptos on there. That's amazing to me. So I'm like, look, um, not to get into the whole weeds about Coinbase and whatnot. I think it really comes down to this, is that the price goes up because they're excited about a new listing on Robinhood. That's great. There's not that many cryptos on Robinhood. It sounds like it's not going to happen now, but it'll probably happen because everybody wants it. It's probably going to be listed on other exchanges. So that also is it. And then, of course, we have this. We're gonna They're going to uh, branch out into their own uh, layer two solutions. So that's also a big thing. So people are really getting into it. But I really think that when you look at it and why people are so excited about it is, first of all, the price is low. And then if you just go to anybody who's been on TikTok lately, uh, well, actually banned all those all those people. But you will see that a lot of people back then were just like, hey, uh, Shiba's going to a penny. You're like, that's impossible. But OK. And then uh, people believe it. And before you know it, off you go. So I'm not saying it's bad or it's good. Me personally, would I buy Shiba? Uh, no, I wouldn't. I won't buy Shiba because to me, it's a lot of competition. The tokenomics aren't that great. And then they're talking about a burn, talking about maybe not a burn. And for me, I'm just like, I just, there's just so much competition in this space for that. And that's just for me. My goals are not your goals. If you invest in a Shiba, great, good for you. You're probably gonna make a boatload of money because it's just gonna go up by, the community itself. Anyhow, let me just think about that in the comments section. Let's go on to our next couple pieces, which is World Mobile Token. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Um, World Mobile, we did a, a video with uh, with Mickey Watkins uh, from uh, World Mobile Token back in the day. Now, this was, uh, gosh, five, six months ago or so when they were just kind of, you know, get fleshing everything out. Well, today is a day where they had their their pre-launch sale everything had gone through and now you're able to stake your world mobile tokens either as a uh, as a as a node operator earth node or you can stake uh, the actual tokens themselves and it went live and i was just watching it just curious to see how things were going and uh, what's crazy about this what's really crazy is that within like a couple of minutes everything was staked 
So like you had all your earth nodes and the earth nodes, you need a hundred thousand tokens. And then everybody else who had just bought regular tokens, they staked them themselves. And this is from uh, John Mayer. <laughs> he says, holy heck, right now, as of this tweet, there are 361 earth node reservations. So hundred thousand times 361, you do the math. And that's 116 million plus staked. That is 152 million plus locked up or 76%. Now there is, I believe there is a total supply of 2 billion, but it's going to be released over the like the, the, the next 20 years. And then also there's a lockup period for uh, people who are uh, owners and, and part of the uh, team themselves. So this right now of what is being circulated, you got a, a huge number locked up. And I was just surprised about how fast it actually got locked up and put in and staked. And everybody seems to be pretty happy about this project. If you don't know, the project's all about, it's twofold. It's launching an infrastructure into different parts of Africa to bring telecommunications and electricity also uh, into these areas. And then uh, the second part is the blockchain, which is World Mobile Token. To not bore you to death right now, I'm gonna link this video at the very end and you can watch uh, this, but there's a, or you can watch it and kind of just, it'll talk about what exactly it is. But then uh, the big question I'm gonna get is, hey, uh, where can I buy World Mobile Token? This is what everybody asks. And World Mobile Token states this, please wait for the official announcements regarding exchanges soon. Take that with a grain of salt. And that's what's going on. So hopefully I can squeeze some more information out of them and talk to you guys about when it's actually gonna be uh, available to people in the US, because we got the shaft as again, but uh, what are you gonna do? Anyhow, that's it for that. Let me just think, and then uh, we'll finish up with just a quick piece here. Walmart's posting Bitcoin ATMs. Uh, that's great. And uh, the only thing that's that's great about this, there's twofold. Uh, I was in marketing for a long time, and I can just tell you that people have to see things seven to ten times before they actually buy. And I think with cryptocurrency, uh, if you got some hard-headed brothers like myself, uh, it's going to take them like 30, 40 times. So every place that you see Bitcoin or a cryptocurrency, it doesn't really matter. I don't care where it is. Uh, it just kind of gets into that subconscious like, oh, there it is again. Oh, there it is again. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's why you see Coca-Cola ads all the time. You're like, why is Coke advertising? It's because they got to keep putting in people's heads so they keep buying Coke. And it's the same thing with this. I think that this isn't like the greatest end-all be-all because right here where it talks about uh, the machine <laughs> charges a 4% fee for the Bitcoin option plus another 7% cash exchange fee on top of that. That's no bueno. That's not great. But what's great about that is that, hey, They've got a lot of, uh, of uh, uh, observation or you have it actually the optics, the visualization is there for the cryptocurrency. So I'm like, eh, I'll take it. And that's good. And that's actually been verified. And I like this last part here. Coindesk tested the service out of an abundance of caution following a hoax last month when a fake press release, Yahoo Finance, claimed that Litecoin would be accepted as payment at Walmart stores. Actually, no, I think this was, no, no, Yahoo Finance came out with the fake article that XRP had settled with the SEC. Excuse me, so sorry. But yeah, uh, that one was big and they said, yes, eyes in the ground, we actually see it. There's actually uh, these uh, kiosks are actually there. Actually, that's the Walmart, uh, there, there, Coinstar, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Anyhow, uh, that is what we have. I'm pretty happy about it. Hopefully it'll uh, lead to price action, but we'll see. And then lastly, just so everybody knows, it's about 10 a.m. Uh, here in Puerto Rico, and uh, that's uh, Atlantic or Eastern time. We're going to be doing uh, digital or DCA, uh, the DCA show with me, George from Cryptos R Us, James from Invest Answers at uh, in a couple more out, couple hours. So that's 12:30 Eastern, 9:30 uh, Pacific time. I don't know where you are at, so. I uh, will link that in the description as well so you can set a reminder. We can check that out. But we're going to talk today, go a little bit deeper. There's a couple of, there's two more ETFs that are coming out. One's already out. So we already have two ETFs and a third one's on its way as far as Bitcoin. We're going to talk about exit strategies, 40K ETH, 400K Bitcoin, and some other things that uh, tickle our fancy as far as the crypto market. So uh, check that out at the very end. But that is it. So look, if you made it to the end, thanks. I appreciate it. If you like today's video, give you a little value entertainment, whatever else, give it a thumbs up. I'll consider subscribing. Things are going fast and I don't want you to miss anything. So that is it for today. Thanks so much. And I'll see you in the next video.